Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the stream. I'm Robert from the El Magnifico Games channel and today we're going to continue with our playthrough of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Specifically, I'm going to make another attempt at trying to finish the game on the very hard difficulty without dying once. I think this is my... my third proper attempt if we exclude the attempts that uh, that ended up finishing before I even got to R O S one. Those that didn't get properly started. So let's get into it. There we go. Oh my goodness. That gecko just missiles me. Right, if I play my cards right here, this shouldn't take long. Oh, no YB prompt, that's a shame. Also, why did parry not work? Oh, is it the ninja mode thing again? Yeah, probably. Got there in the end. Not the most Fire. elegant. The limo is in trouble. Get back there, ASAP. Combat now I've ever won, radar. but still. Ooh. That Fenrir, Fenrir had a, uh, they have a metal gear? good, gear? good try there, Fire. didn't they? they got that UMG and get after it. Your ninja to deflect those shots. That didn't seem like. Oh well, never mind. So far, so good. Wouldn't mind a bit of a heal though. When we're going. Oh! That's annoying.
Oh, that looks a bit buggy. Okay, I'm not sure this has gone perfectly, but it certainly could have gone a lot worse. Oh, there we go. I was worried about our health, specifically. Come on, Ryder. Why is this... ...so challenging? Right, so far so good. They swapped out the hydraulic cutter for a plasma cannon. Oh, I never got very far with the other leg, did I? Use a ninja run to dodge that plasma. Interesting, I didn't get a prompt, presumably because its health was already low enough. It was low enough for the execution, so it didn't bother letting me waste my time on attacks that couldn't do anything anyway. Well, so far, so good. We don't usually get this first time. How do we do overall? But do not rest easy just yet, huh? B. Not a bad time though. In my opinion. On the other side of that collapsed building. Go. I think sub four minutes on very hard is uh, reasonably good for us. Well, for me anyway. There, get it. Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. Okay, that went well. I have a habit of catching one or both of those um, plasma cutter beams. And I didn't this time, which is very nice. Use blade mode to take down those heavy missiles. Why does Ryder not always cut? It's very frustrating. It looked to me as though actually a possible factor there could have been the change in direction. Hard to be sure. The fact that I ran one way and then the other may have been interfering with him unsheathing his blade. But that is pure conjecture on my part. Oh, that's odd. I tried to parry that. There we go.
now just a little wall run that I have to not make a mistake on and then we're through to the next chapter at which point we get all the ridiculous benefits of assistant progress I mean we get I think we do get some of the benefits of persistent pro progress now I think the improvements I uh, purchased for the HF blade do apply at this phase at this uh, in this chapter I should say since we seem to be doing much more damage than I'm used to when dealing with the Metal Gear Ray but come next chapter we'll get the benefits of the uh, Murasama blade and as well as uh, infinite energy and therefore ripper mode He's headed for the front of the train, after him! Which, as I've said before, right. takes a lot and of the challenge out. Oh, thank you, Jenny. There we go. Self taught and not half bad. Still, <laughs> your technique lacks something. <laughs> We just need to wait for him to this end the combat. The to there we go. And we're on to the next chapter. Wonderful. Safely, da? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. The bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state of the art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. How many Zandatsus did I get there? All three. Wonderful. That's what I was hoping for. Goodness, that combat quite literally went as well as it possibly could do. I didn't take any damage, I don't think, and I got all four Zandatsus. Yep. Well, you don't mind that. Right, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks good. As I also, also so I still do. Hostiles in the right of flank. Good so far. Excellent, Raiden. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment your bo huh. Get 
still going reasonably well. Alright, rather than trying to assassinate either of them, I'll just do that. There we go. That went better than usual. Let him know he is safe. Thank you, thank you. I will not forget this. Uh, where am I going? I wanted to go back up top. I've just forgotten the most efficient way to do that. Well, now I'm here. I may as well pick up the item over here as well. Can I make it over there? No. How do I get back up there? Uh, quickly from down here. Oh, it's the stairs, isn't it? I'm being a fool. Probably no need for me to go around collecting things like this. But since I've started, I may as well finish. Right, next we have the gecko fight. Gecko combat, I should say. Invincibility frames. Oh, they damaged me. How dare they? That would probably have been an S if they hadn't damaged me. Now, keep heading for refinery. Right, now this next bit requires a bit of stealth and guile. Although I have had bad luck with this recently, haven't I? Since moving over to very hard. Yes, he moves out of the way much more quickly. I say I've had trouble. I haven't... Uh, it's hard to ha have much trouble when you have the, Mur the fully upgraded Murasama Blade and infinite Ripper Mode. But I haven't been able to do it in the efficient way I had been accustomed to recently since moving to very hard mode due to how much more active their patrol routes are. I'm just about to get spotted, aren't I? Yep. Never mind. Oh, that was lucky. I only get the invincibility frames once I begin the... Zandatsu. And I was worried with the other gecko moving behind me like that. That they would... Attack me... While I was in blade mode before I got the invincibility frames. Fortunately that didn't happen. Right, let's press on. On to the LQ84I Fenrir mini boss combat. probably could have placed myself behind them if I was thinking about it. Right, 
Mm, didn't get a Zandatsu there, that's on me. damage at all. I'm not sure I did. No, apparently not. Goodness. Right, let's press on. Next we have the section where we're running along the collapsing road. Whoa! No, please, no. Not like this. Right. What's wrong? Come on, buddy, answer me! Alright. Right Starting the game again. I'm not sure what went wrong there, to be honest. Oh, thank you for the follow, Walsh Magic. Oh dear. I don't like it when I lose those button mashing at um, quick time events. Because I am actually hitting the button as fast as I can. It's not like I can feasibly go any faster. Never mind. Yeah, we're a bit light on health. Never mind. That was strange. He didn't seem to be aiming at us. What? They have 
have a metal gear? Gear? Brighton, take out that UMG and get after it. Use blade mode to damage its armor. Catch that missile before it falls. Use your ninja run to deploy those shots. So far, so good. Wondering if it was gonna try and tackle me again, but the YouTube excuse me, the YouTube ray didn't. Oh no it does. I was gonna make it past for a moment there. Got that by technicality. Now, Raiders, bring it down. Because I'd almost brought it down stop to the first threshold when it tried to stomp me. So I ended up getting the first blade mode off of it trying to stomp me, and the second one by just doing a tiny bit more damage to get it over the threshold. Well, I can't complain about that. For a show. Very good. But do not rest easy just yet, huh? Oh, goodness, an A. That must be because we got such a good time. to move over obstacles automatically. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. Right, phase two. I suppose this will be where things go terribly. No, so far so good. That looked a bit buggy, but never mind. Use blade mode to 
Raiden definitely wasn't responding like he should. I still haven't figured out what it is about Raiden occasionally not doing as he's told. Like there, when I told him to parry. I was ninja moding at the time though, so that will be what went wrong on that... Uh oh. In that specific case. I forgot to un ninja run while I was trying to parry. But certainly during the miss up, that doesn't explain why he. Uh, That doesn't explain why he wasn't slicing the missiles during the missile attack. Clearly there's some other mechanic at play here that I still haven't managed to deduce. I just had a thought. Boris does keep telling me to blade mode the missiles, doesn't he? Not to ninja run at them. Perhaps it never was intended that he should be able to slice the missiles down with ninja run. In general, I've certainly found that Ninja Run and Light Attack seem to be at least partially incompatible, and that includes parries. They just don't play well together, and I don't know why. Because you could understand if a parry or a Light Attack never worked when Raiden's Ninja Running, but as you can plainly see, well, at least for Light Attacks, that's not true. They just seem inconsistent. Strange. Right, just gotta let Jet Stream Sam win here. Hmm. Self taught and not half bad. Still. <laughs> Your technique lacks something. Raiden, are you alright? You're almost clear of the tunnel. Just hang on. Gotta try hard on that. Goodbye! This is all the Ripper has to offer? Right, overall that went pretty well. We've improved our normal combat rank for this chapter from BS to AS. Let's hope I don't mess up the quick time events this time. But it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Ah, uh, this isn't going to be as slick as last time. Right. Whenever you engage in battle, nah. I will designate a battle area for you. Stay within the area to avoid collateral damage. Never mind, it's not like we need the BP anyway. Right, the 
This is Boris. Give me your status. Looks good. As a also, also so I still do. Oh, that's interesting. I've just realized my. I haven't retained all of the additional repair nano pastes that I acquired last playthrough, only some of them. Which is fine, just interesting. Clearly, starting from the. Um, Starting from the first chapter again, wiped some but not all of my progress. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment your. Uh. Do a particularly good job there, did I? Yeah. Mine. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. I'll still kick your ass. I wonder if it would have been safe to walk away then, instead of finishing them off, because they should have despawned. I just don't know if they still present a threat to the civilian or not. Done damage to me already. Anyone left? We should just despawn in a second. Very good, Raiden. Now, keep heading for refinery. Right, we've nearly made it back to where we were before. Let's see if we can do a better job at assassinating the other two. Because I got one of them last time, but then got spotted by the remaining one. Right, I think I just need to move away now very quickly before he can turn around. the gecko won't see me. Right, we should be able to assassinate her. Get off. So far so good. I've forgotten what the strategy was with the remaining ones. I guess just take out the guard over here carefully. I don't want to move any closer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's let's play this safe. Wait till they turn around again. When they do we assassinate them, then we jump down on the remaining gecko. No point rushing this. Oh, 
There we go. Nice moves, Raiden. Oh, thank you. Oh, let's not forget the repair nano paste. Is it repair the nano paste in here? I think it is. Bandage. Yes. Maybe expecting UG or cyborg attack, huh? Right, back to the LQ84I Fenrir mini boss combat. Multiple strikes. I won't manage it without damage this time. Be pretty terrifying for the one that's still stunned out. Oh well, never mind. You call this violence civilized? Even you are really human in the end. There we go. Oh, does this end that to fully charge the dystopia site as well? This seems a bit silly. A real abuse of the infinite energy. game was still nice enough to give us an A. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, here we go again. Yep, no idea what went wrong last time. <sighs> that was close. I genuinely thought I wasn't going to make it for a little while there. Alright, let's try this one a bit differently to how we've done it before. Where have they gone? Now we have the dystopia sigh. Yeah, that was quite a bit quicker, wasn't it? You gotta be pretty stupid to try and hide here. Looks to me like Russian spies. Dude, hey. <laughs> Right, I might have saved the civilian there. 
Certainly, it's hard to imagine how I could have moved more quickly. No, I didn't. Incredible. There we go. Goodness, so even jumping down from above so isn't always quick enough. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most I wonder what I'm intended to do then. Why not, you know, <laughs> most use it. Did I get the arm? No, I didn't. I think it's too late now. Oh dear, what a shame. You, you missed them all. Never mind. You just have to fight your way through. I should have guessed you would choose this one. Oh my goodness, they're actually doing appreciable amounts of damage. That'll be those RPGs. An A is probably generous for our performance there. Or should I say my performance? Do they turn around in a moment, actually allowing me to do this bit properly? So far it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe that's how I do it. do that blind. Now I don't think I've developed a strategy there that I could, oh thank you, reliably repeat. That was more just potluck. Still, it worked. I'd have gotten away with that without the infinite. Woo, energy. I 
don't think I've ever cut a whole leg off before of these enemies whilst leaving the rest of them intact. No real point going for the items, I don't think. I just don't need them right now. Well, since I was standing right next to it. We intercepted right, let's keep going. During your last fight. The caller's position is on your solid on radar. You can engage if you... Raiders, the cliff is just ahead at the end of beyond... So, no, there should... It is probably... Don't... Go, how'd that, how'd that go? No damage, apparently. It only took 35 seconds. Don't say if his team must oh, be you don't mind fight. that. Right, wait. There are active IR sensors in the area. Part of factory security, no doubt. But the enemy may be using it. This next bit, I don't think I ever quite solved. This seems like an improvement. Just haven't been spotted yet. Okay, we should be able to rush over here and take them out undetected. So far, so good. I think that's about as good as we've... as we need to do it. Ooh, careful. Because obviously I'm thinking about future playthroughs where we don't have such overpowered equipment. Um, I'll come back up for him. Oh, I missed the chance for the Zandatsu, never mind. Oh, he does come close. Is that the extent of your patrol? Yes. Yep, that went about as well as it could have done. Thank you. Keep going. On to Mistral. Don't you <laughs> 
Oh, she, t she uh, managed to damage me. That's a shame. Obviously last night, not last night, Saturday night. We managed this without taking any damage to Mistral. Mistral. I can hit her from here. No. The game just won't let me try. Oh no, wait, I wasn't locked on. Okay. I think the lesson there is there's no point bothering with the dystopia side. I'm just better off doing what I was doing anyway. Oh dear. Far from not taking any damage. I could have lost a repair nano pace there. I did nowhere near as well as I did on Saturday. Never mind. No need to customize Raiden. Let's just keep going. It's Raiden. I'm in the sewer system. All right. You're oh, I have to remember in this upcoming so combat with the Mastiff, first, oh, they like to throw in a you will provide slider <laughs> on Service, Very Hard sir. and Revengeance, don't they? Operation. YB prompt instead of just exploiting this infinite uh, 
energy I have. Oh my goodness, it survived. Damn, I was trying for no damage. Oh, are there two of them? Looks like it. There we go. Oh, we might as well just keep going, mightn't we? I see a maintenance catwalk. Use it to conceal yourself if necessary. Oh, yeah. And then we have the tank down there. I think we have to take out the enemy that's in here before we're allowed to progress. I was trying to get the stealth kill, but still. Right, let's carry on. annoying. I tried to use the dystopia sigh, but at the exact separate second I pressed to do that, to do the, what would be the heavy attack. One of the tripods jumped on me. And then the armored cyborg followed up with an RPG. All in a fraction of a second. Right, let's keep going. Next we have the combat with the three raptors, which would be very challenging if it weren't for the ridiculous, how ridiculously good having persistent progress is. Oh, did I only get one? Yeah. I thought I got two. Clearly not. His and that's his. Hmm. Under 30 seconds. Goodness. Again, that's all just because of the ridiculously powerful items and upgrades the game makes available to so you yeah. if you're playing with persistent progress. You should be that. So what? I made sure that sure. you just give a good. Alright, let's keep going. Heavy UG activity ahead. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? It's... It's a box. How's that going to help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. Could work, All right, let's keep going. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Well, with persistent progress, there's no reason I'd ever need the BP, so right. there's no point. I have determined the approximate location of the lab based on the boy's information. 
It is marked on your Soliton radar. So, a fake wall projection. Pretty well hidden, I gotta say. Let's keep going. I never did come up with a really good solution to the boss fight in this chapter, did I? On this difficulty. I think I found that the best approach, quite literally, was to serpentine from side to side, exposing myself for as little time as possible. Right, right, right. No damage and it's still only an A, so I didn't get any Zandatsu. If they continue to increase security, they may shut. Oh, that's annoying. Sir, you have made an enemy today. Those were Duh. George. Yes, perhaps. Jeez. Wait, you said. Yeah. So We've got any. He just. True. I bet. Jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Titan in one patch it. Right you see that cab in my this the key liquid only mm. their mo what about a fine right <laughs> oh come on game Directly underneath me, or something. I think they must be. Ah, oh, I miss the Zandatsu, what a shame. Never mind. No point going for the endurance plus one. I hope when I go back to playing without persistent progress, no. I don't end up skipping endurance plus ones because I've just gotten out of the habit.
Right, so as I say, serpentine, eh? This isn't quite serpentine. There we go. I need to be trying to get those parry campers, which I've not been. I think I did there. I couldn't see the animation clearly, but since I suddenly got a blade mode prompt, I think I must have found it right there. I must admit, that did go a lot better than it has in the past. Goodness me, the game even awarded me an S for some reason. World V not to Mark Edla. This is it won't even so we you heard we need no color mm. Mark I didn't well, fix Jeez. Two Berserkers, one RPG. Understood. I did terribly here. Never mind. As I was saying last time, I think my overall standard of play is going down as I um, keep playing on very hard like this because I have such powerful equipment that I'm not being constantly pressured to play better and better and better like I used to be when I was doing a new game each time. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why I began in this blade mode there. Did I? No. I was holding down ninja run, not blade mode. Strange. Oh, I did take damage this time. I didn't see when, but there'll be no no damage bonus for me this time. That's a shame, I'd probably have got an S if I had. The road is blocked by barricades. We will proceed through the buildings. You will follow me.
Raiden, what's your status? They took your look, company. Raiden, board. They'll be mm. weak. You signed. I can't. So you just doctor. You will. And you're there in Rose. You do? They are. Yeah. Well, then. No. Uh, I'll do. I do. Spec Goodness me, that went well. Raiden, you will find an it usually doesn't go quite office. that well. Use it to reach the roof. Traveling atop buildings will minimize enemy encounters. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why that was so difficult to get. Never mind. Oh, I did terribly there. Obviously, I'm getting worse at my blade mode work. Doc. Yeah. A pre. Well. So far as I can tell, I think we're making good time. HQ, we could use some support. Roger that. Yeah. Yeah. Not a single parry counter there. Again, I took a tiny fractional, fraction, fractional amount of damage. And I'm not sure where. Perhaps that was a stray bullet or something? From the slider? Right, now this is a very annoying combat. Apparently not when you're this overpowered, he says, jinxing himself. Get off. There we go. Of course, I wouldn't even have the dystopia side this early in the game if I didn't have persistent progress. Oh, 
Why, why am I having so much trouble here? I swear I'm hitting it. There we go. Of course, that would never have come off without the infinite energy. the other one in time. Oh, they got him. What a pity. Who fired at me? Oh, you did. I was just thinking, I thought I took the slider out, but apparently the slider pi pilot survived. Just long enough to lob an RPG at me. going. Now, I think we began this playthrough about 25 minutes into the stream, so we're actually coming up to the one hour this mark. Be, it, this is, it was a, yeah. as a, which seems like pretty good going. So I'm pretty sure I used to get to the monsoon boss fight, which isn't it's a little ways ahead from here, but it's not that far ahead of here. Uh, I used to get to that. By about 2.20 before I was playing with these ridiculous items that the game's given me. So I'm probably going more or less twice as fast as I used to. Hmm, that was a particularly poor showing from me there. Took a lot more damage there than I need of. Yeah, C is frankly generous. Let's keep going. Right. It would appear your you will secure about time. Proceed. Those do not sure. right. Remind I un Chief and unlocked to walk in the dark. I wonder what uh Right. That you was. have almost reached what, why I received that. Missed it. <laughs> There we go. It appears there are enemies on the overpass. I suggest cutting the road supports. That should bring it down.
goodness. No damage. Enemy ahead, Raiden. Avoid fighting if you can. It is possible to stealth this section, but I don't see much point when we're this overpowered. I'll probably have to come up with a better strategy when we play through this again. Without the uh, OP gear. There would be an endurance plus one here if we didn't have persistent progress. Head for the next objective marker. Yeah. Alright, first things first, take out the RPG cyborg. Oh, why do you have to save him of all people? I need to get better with the YG prompts. Uh, missed them all. Again, playing the game when you're this overpowered just doesn't promote skill. Yes, it does look like we're going to be hitting Monsoon about 1.10 into the playthrough. Which again is about twice as quick as that which I used to be capable of. Prior to the OP gear. don't like the RPG cyborgs. Just wondering if I could use the dystopia sigh while um, what's the word? Um, while restricted like this. And uh, as I had anticipated, the answer is no. Actually, let's not bother with the taking enemies out in Ripper mode while we're restricted like this. Just for fun, because we can, because um, there's no real advantage to it, and as we know, it does slightly bug the game out.
Let them have their fun while we wait for Jetstream Sam to emerge. Right, this little cutscene can't be skipped. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my sight. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. It's controlled by something greater. Means. The DNA of the soul. They shape our will. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, all means, all past How about food? Shit. Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives. A means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. Here we go. Right, I want to see if this corner is safe this from his uh, blade mode. No. Is it any corner? What about over here? Doesn't seem like it will be, no. I could have sworn there was somewhere you could hide. Perhaps I've just made it up. Oh, hold on. We need to change our sub weapon here to EM grenades. Uh, where are they? There they are. I must have skipped past them. too close for comfort. He did hit me. Oh, 
So this is Jack's terrifying true form. So far, so good. I have won this. I think this is going about as well as the monsoon boss fight ever has. So far, anyway. I, I say that and I'll probably mess up the quick time event at the end and then uh, fail altogether or miss the parry. So the reason the parry failed there was because initially his legs and his upper body were in line. But it was his upper body that I had to point the analog stick towards, even though it was his legs doing the doing the attacking. So when he moved his upper body out of the way, this one's on me. it then changed the direction I needed to parry in, but I didn't respond to it because I was thinking about what was attacking me, not the, not where his upper body was. trying to get the EM grenade. He attacked me too quickly. There we go. There we go. Nearly messed that up. I see no red phosphorus. Oh, not again. <laughs> Right, surely this must be it. Surely we'll get to the final quick time event now. 
There we go. Now I just have to remember to parry properly. And then after this stage, the final prompts will be Ninja Run, Blade Mode, YB Blade Mode. Right, so here comes the Ninja Run prompt. So far, so good. You're dead. No! <laughs> I wasn't quick enough. I think I might stop there for tonight, even though it's a bit early. Yes, I think I will. Um, so, my next stream is Wednesday, which is Poetry and Riddles. Then... Um, Friday and Saturday are both video game streams. Notionally, I, I would be doing more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, but I'm starting to think maybe I should take a break from it. Play something else in between. Thank you to Walsh Magic for the follow, I do appreciate it. And so, yep, I'll be live next Wednesday. Thank you for coming, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Good night.